Oh, this is the lock. Yeah, actually, no, I want to come down. Oh my god! Oh yeah. Yo! Oh, and what? Yeah, you get oh, oh my gosh! Oh my. Green, come on, power. Let's give me a screen, power. Give me a screen. Oh my god, green! What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD. And I'm back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be bringing you the best ISO build in NBA 2K21. And yeah, we're about to be going crazy this year. So make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helped you out at all. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already because we're going to be dropping hella next-gen content for you guys. And I'm going to be showing you what I think is the best ISO build in NBA 2K21 next-gen. The best bet is that I'm going to be using to start off with it. And even some gameplay, y'all. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're excited for next-gen. And let's go ahead and get straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, so we are in the build creator. I'm going to show you guys the best ISO build in NBA 2K21 next gen. Yes, I'm on next gen, like I said in the intro. But yeah, this ISO build is absolutely insane. I'm going to also teach you guys a couple tips about the new My Player Builder and how the badges, the attributes, the wingspan, and all that stuff works. So let's hop straight into it. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, by the way. But yeah, I'm telling you, this build is going to break NBA 2K21. Trust me, when I tell you this is the best ISO build, this is going to be the craziest build in the game. So first, you're going to want to go with point guard. Hannes, once again, that is definitely personal preference. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go with number one for my boy, D-Rose. You're going to know the vibe. But anyways, this is the first screen you get is the body settings. Now, it's also going to show you on the right side of the screen what attributes are being affected. And it's going to show what attributes that you can cap these out as. So as you can see, if I adjust the height, my caps will change. Now, these aren't the stats I'm going to get, but these are the stats I could potentially get depending on how I upgrade my player. So as an ISO build, I never really like to be 6'5", 6'4", or 6'3", except for the one that I made in current gen. I always like to go 6'6", 6'7", or 6'8". And I'm going to go 6'6", just because I feel like 6'7", and 6'8", are just a little too slow. And I also want to have a 90 plus three-pointer. And as you can see, uh, 95 three-pointer is the cap on this one. We're going to go minimum weight and then go plus one just to get a plus one strength. It doesn't lose anything on any of the other attributes. And you want to be as fast as possible and strength doesn't really matter at all as a guard. Wingspan. Now, wingspan is huge, okay? As you can see on the right side, the stats, you know, the ball handle goes down too much. My three-pointer goes below a 90. I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, right? So if you go down to seven foot, this is actually perfect because you still get a lot of to your block and your rebound you get enough ball handle the speed boost your three-pointer is still above a 90 and you're still fast and the driving dunks at 95 still the standing dunk goes up a lot this is definitely the best wingspan now body shape this is once again a personal preference i'm gonna go with compact i just think that looks the best but anyways let's go ahead and go to the next step the next step now this is when it gets very intense. Now I'm gonna teach you guys a couple things you can do that, and just a lot of things about this My Player Build system that you're gonna have to listen to me about, okay? Now, when I upgrade certain things in this builder, it's gonna affect certain things on the right side of the screen, okay? So let's say I just max my steal, right? I'm just gonna max my steal. Look at on the right. It sh I don't get any badges from that, but it shows what badges I can unlock, right? And maybe I can put up some more and look at more badges start to appear. Now, any badges that are blacked out, that means you're never going to be able to get that badge. You're, that badge is locked. You'll never be able to unlock that badge. And any badge that's gold or hall of fame, that's the max it can go to. So I can only get Intimidator, for example, on gold, and I can only get Heart Crusher, for example, I can get it out of the max, I can get it in the Hall of Fame. So certain attributes unlock certain badges. Another thing to note, so let's say I upgrade Driving Dunk. I'm only gonna upgrade Driving Dunk, look at what happens. Boom, look at it. it upgraded Driving Layup and Vertical by itself. So some things that you upgrade, it's going to force you to upgrade other things. So look, at if I put down driving layup, it's going to put down my driving dunk with it, okay? The same thing with the three-point shot. I max my three-point shot, my mid-range is going to go up with it. So certain upgrades are just going to upgrade other things with it as well, making it less customizable to pick your attributes. Another thing is height and wingspan actually affect what badges you can get and what badges you can't get. 
So some heights actually can't get like Intimidator or Brick Wall. Like I'm never gonna be able to get Brick Wall on this build because I'm 6'6". Six, six. Um, I'm never gonna be able to get Hall of Fame Quick First Step. You, you have to be like, I think like 6'4 or smaller. You can't do it on a 6'6 six, six player. I can only get Gold Quick First Step even if I max all my playmaking. Look at I'm gonna max all my playmaking. Look at I only get Gold Quick First Step. Same with Ankle Breaker, Tight Handles, and Stop and Go. So once again, Height and Wingspan can affect on what badges you can even get maxed out at no matter how you upgrade your player for example a center they can't even get what's known as deep threes it's actually limitless range you guys know it as they can't even get that badge at all but a power forward can get it on gold but a shooting guard and a point guard can get it on hall of fame so certain positions unlock certain badges and lock certain badges and another thing is there's double takeover we're going to explain that later in the build video you also unlock takeovers depending on how you upgrade this player i'm also going to put on the screen a bunch of caps and attributes need you need for a certain thing i'm going to put on the screen ball handle caps um layup caps contact dunk caps and all that good stuff on the screen right now but anyways let's get exactly into how i made this build and exactly why I made this build. So the first thing I'm gonna do is max my driving dunk. That's automatically gonna put my driving layup to a 70 and my vertical to a 70. And as you can see, I have two driving badges. This is actually the only thing I'm even gonna touch on my finishing. Now, if we go over to the shooting, I'm gonna max my three pointer. That's gonna automatically put my mid range to a 66. I'm gonna continue to max that and then max my free throw. As you can see, I have 28 shooting badges. I don't need 28 shooting badges. I only need about 18. So I'm gonna put my mid range down to a 91 and then i'm gonna put my free throw down to a 73 and look at that's 18 shooting badges if i go one less it's 17 so perfect 18 shooting badges right there and as you can see most of them are hall of fame so that is perfect then if we go to playmaking you're gonna want to max your speed with ball first that's gonna automatically put your ball handle to 64 and your speed to 64 then you're gonna want to continue and max the ball handle because of course you want to be able to speed boost and all that now if you max your pass accuracy i'm gonna have 24 playmaking badges i don't need 24 playmaking badges i think i only need about 15 so i'm gonna lower my pass accuracy to a 79 if i go lower than that it's a 14 so that's perfect no matter what i wouldn't be able to get quick first step i don't think i need hall of fame floor general especially with how overpowered shooting stats and shooting builds are in this game Gold floor general will be more than enough for my teammate. Now on to the defensive side of things. Now, a lot of you guys are going to question a lot of things about this build, but I'm going to explain why. Now, before I get into upgrading the defense, remember last year how after you made a build, it would give you like 420 upgrades and each time you put a slot up one or two, that would be one upgrade. Well, this year it's not like that. There is no amount of upgrades. It's just overall. So once this build reaches 95, I can't upgrade anything else. So just pay attention to that. So watch this. When I max my steel, my build goes to an 84. Then I'm going to max my perimeter defense and my defense will rebound. And then maybe upgrade this a little more. And boom, I'm already at 95. Look at my physicals. 64 speed, 25 excel, 45 strength, 70 vertical, 25 stamina. That's terrible, right? So let me put down my block. Let me put down my offensive rebound. You know, I need max speed. I need max acceleration. Boom, I'm already, it's already over. You see how crazy this is? Like, I don't even have much upgraded in defense, but I don't have anything in physicals. But watch this. If I lower my steel by 70, I can put my stamina up 70, my vertical up 23, my acceleration up like 40 or 50, my defense or rebound up to an 88, my offense or rebound up to a 66, and then I can max my block, and then I can max my interior defense. Do you see how insane that is? I just went from having 70 upgrades on my steel to turning that into, what, 200 plus upgrades throughout? So when you ask me why my steel is so low and why it's a 25, that is why. Why would I have a 95 steal with all those 25 stats when i can get all these stats maxed and have a 25 steal now obviously there's going to be some disadvantages to that where i'm not going to be able to get as many steals and i'm also not going to be able to get pickpocket or interceptor but for this iso but i'm not even supposed to be a lock to begin with so these defensive stats and these defensive badges are a blessing to begin with now i'm not done making this build just yet we're going to do a couple more tweaks look at now, something I like to point out is when you have high 90 stats and you put them down a couple, they can, then those one or two attribute upgrades can turn into like 10 to 20 somewhere else. So if I put perimeter defense down one, I can put my interior defense up six and put my strength down like five. 
then I'm going to put my interior defense up eight. Now look at that. Now I have 18 defense, 15 playmaking, 18 shooting, two driving. Now let's just think, because at 99, you get a plus four to everything. So just think about this player stats, a 74 driving layup, a 99 driving dunk, a 95 mid range, a 95 three pointer, a 90 ball handle, a 93 speed with ball, a 98 perimeter defense, 80 block, 92 rebounding, 94 speed, 92 excel, 97 vertical, and 99 stamina. Are we kidding? With 15 plus badges in three different categories, that at a six foot six, almost max wingspan capability, that is ridiculous. Are we kidding, bro? Now, a lot of popular questions I get from this is number one, why is the steel so low? I just explained that, so that's why the steel is so low. Why is the strength so low? Strength doesn't matter for guards. Why is the vertical so high? Vertical is going to be huge for getting dunks and getting rebounds and just getting up high. It's going to be so much better for driving to the basket. So having a 97 vertical, I'm going to be jumping out the gym. Speed and acceleration, I mean, we want to dribble fast. Speed with ball, ball handle, we want to dribble fast. Shooting, we want to dribble, you know, shoot good. Why do I not have close shot max? I was literally shooting 50% contested close shots. They were all going in with no badges. You don't need close shot. Standing dunk and post control are useless on guards. And my interior defense is actually pretty good for a guard. 55, that is a lot higher than the average guard. A lot of these guard builds that these YouTubers are making have a 25 interior defense. You're not guarding no ISO with that, and you sure as hell are not guarding nobody driving to the basket with that. Now, another thing you might ask is, why do you only have two finishing badges? Well, look, when I hit 99, I'm going to have a 99 driving dunk with a 97 vertical. And I'm going to have all the contact dunks unlocked. I don't even need more than two driving badges. I'll put on silver contact finisher, and that's that. I won't need anything else. I'll get reverse dunks. I'll get every dunk package in the game. And plus, I think shooting, playmaking, and defensive badges are way more useful. I have 18 defense, 15 playmaking, 18 shooting. That is just so divided up equally, in my opinion. Now, you don't have to use this build, but I think this is the best ISO build in the game. I usually predict these builds 99% of the time correctly in the prelude and now we're actually in this game before it even comes out for you guys So yeah, this is the best ISO build so we're gonna move on and now we got our takeovers Now, let me explain the takeovers for a second. It's not like 2k19 double takeover Basically think as if you're in a twos game, right? You have to work for your primary takeover first and once you get your primary takeover takeover you can either choose to activate that takeover right there or Keep trying to play well in that twos game to eventually hopefully unlock the secondary takeover as well but you'd still be risking the chance of losing all the takeover altogether if you miss like a wide open shot or get a turnover right and then even that after you unlock the secondary takeover two in that game you can also gamble for team takeover so getting the regular takeover is not getting double takeover you would have to get double the amount of takeover to get double takeover if you know what i'm saying i know that might be confusing but i'm gonna put on the screen the bars on the takeover during heart games and i think visually once you look at it it's going to be very obvious and once you hop into the games it's going to be very obvious what i'm talking about so make sure when you pick your primary takeover it's the takeover that you value more the secondary takeover is like the one you don't value as much also you can change these takeovers whenever you want once your player is max so don't take it too seriously now for me i'm gonna go with limitless range as my primary takeover so i can shoot from deep I was thinking about getting contact dunks, finishing moves for my other ones, but I'm actually going to go with the extreme clamps one. I'm going to be a, oh, if some, if I give up the ball, ooh, it's going to be hard for you to score, my boy. It's going to be hard for you to score. So we're going to be like a two-way kind of build that can shoot with a 95 three-pointer with sharp take. It's going to be looking different out here. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to create that build. And what do you know? We got a two-way scoring machine compared to John Moran and John Wall. The best ISO build in NBA 2K21. Let's get on to the badges. So as you can see, we have the badges out here. Now, once I get my two finishing, like I said, I got 99 driving dunk. I got all the contact dunks in the game. All I really need is... Oh, they changed it to posterizer. Oh, there's no... Com that's crazy. I didn't even know that. But all I need is posterizer. Silver posterizer, that's all I'm going to need. Then shooting badges. I have the perfect shooting setup. This is going to be perfect. You're going to go Hall of Fame Green Machine. Bronze Deadeye. Hall of Fame Hot Shot. This badge is going to be overpowered. Boost takeover meter after hitting jump shots. That's like flashy passer with jump shots. That shit is godlike. Then I'm going to have Hall of Fame D3s. 
Then I'm going to have Hall of Fame Hot Stone Hunter. And then I'm going to have Bronze Tireless Shooter. This is going to be the best setup. Now, I might even move Tireless Shooter to maybe Clutch Shooter or maybe Difficult Shots. Maybe even Catch and Shoot. Maybe even Corner Specials. But this is the best setup I'm going to be going with when I ISO in. Ooh, oh my god. This Hot Shot our hall of fame oh i'm gonna be getting double takeover easily so if, even if i give up the ball i'm gonna be clamping you then i got 15 playmaking badges now depending on who i play with i might not even put on floor general because these shooting center builds are so overpowered they might not even need it i'm gonna put on gold quick first step bronze bailout gold handles for days gold ankle breaker bronze unpluckable gold space creator i'm gonna be breaking ankles on the ice with space creator and ankle breaker i'm gonna have hall of fame handles for days quick first step bailout on play well this is the perfect setup i really don't need anything more like this is literally perfect and if i really wanted to put on that floor general i could take off ankle breaker put hall of fame space creator and then put on that floor general or maybe mix and match it to whatever but i really don't think you're gonna need floor general in this game i'm gonna tell you right now these builds are way too overpowered now we got the defensive badges 18 defensive badges hall of fame hot stopper you know what this badge is if i play good defense my takeover boosts so much so i'm gonna get double takeover so easily especially with lock take hall of fame clamps gold intimidator gold rim protector which is gonna give me even more of a takeover booster silver tireless defender and silver chase down artist now if someone's using screens i can even put on pig dodger if i want to take a couple of these badges off but i don't even think i'm going to be able to use that i feel like i'm going to be able to switch with my center a lot so this badge setup right here is going to be perfect and i can really test a lot of these badges out but i'm so excited about these takeover booster badges i'm going to have for this double takeover with hot stopper rim protector hot shot and even post riser but yeah those are the badges that i'm going to be using to start off with now let's get on to the gameplay okay so here's finally some gameplay of my build with no badges 85 overall nothing i was actually getting a lot of steals despite the 25 steal probably because of my wingspan i was getting contact dunks i was catching just about every lob and i was grinning some contested shots with no shooting badges like i was actually going crazy i never managed to get double takeover but i get it did get takeover look i'm shooting 50 percent contested greens without a single shooting badge like i was actually going crazy i don't know what the difficulty was on in rookieville but this is just the first hour of me playing i haven't gotten used to the dribbling my animations this build the feel of the game is just so much different as well there's gonna be so many things i'm gonna find out i'm gonna find that best jump shot i'm gonna find the best signature styles for this build i'm gonna get this build to 99 and i'm gonna start utilizing the double tailor bro it's gonna be over this build is definitely a w make sure to drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you guys want more next gen videos it's been your boy henry aka double hdf man and i'm out y'all